What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another video. It's your boy Jim Graphics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design a corporate company profile in Corel Draw. If you're new here, consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future uploads. So guys, over here are the stock images we'll be using for this tutorial. I'm going to link all this in the down description below. So let's get straight to the video. Welcome to Corel Draw, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is change our size to inches, the unit to inches, and the size we'll be, we'll be working with is 18 by 12 inches. All right, guys. So this is what you're going to have. So the next thing you're going to do is bring in this rectangle and put it to size 18 by 12 inches, and boom, this is what you're going to have, guys. So what you're going to do now is demarcate this rectangle into two. So to do that bring this over here and click on control on your keyboard and just flip this to this place so you have two of this together so what you're going to do is just make sure this is fitted to frame and um, boom we've demarcated the pages so we have our front and we have our back page here so what we're going to do now is bring in our ruler and place this over here and leave that to that the next thing i'm going to do guys is bring in my rectangle to and draw another box here if you guys remember, you guys, uh, some of you came to my WhatsApp and asked me how to create a margin like because of cutting, you know. So I'm going to teach you how to do that guys in this. So stick around this video. So what, what I'm going to do is I normally use um, 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 inches or 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 inches depending on the um, number of pages that will be inside the brochure or the profile. Alright guys, so let's put this to size by using 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 inches. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to have. Now hold shift on your keyboard and use your mouse and select this box. So once you do that, you've selected the both of them. So now click on letter T on your keyboard to take it to the top. Click on letter L to take it to the left. Now bring in your ruler over here and leave that to that. Now, you can also bring this one and leave it to this make sure it is aligned to the frame we have here all right guys so it's very simple to do now select this um rectangle again and hold your shift and also use your mouse and click on this to select everything all right guys so this is what you're going to have now press letter b on your keyboard to bring it to the bottom and bring in your ruler and leave it to that all right guys so now select both of them also and click on letter r to take it to the right okay guys so bring in your ruler and leave it to that also now select this part and that's this one and the cover we have here and click on letter l to bring it to the left side of the front cover now select the rectangle again and hold your shift select the box and click on or hold um letter r to take it to the right now um bring in your ruler and leave it to this now you can delete this and boom this is what we're going to have now you can remove the outline or the stroke by right clicking on this and select outline color okay guys so it's out so we are left with only this so the next thing we're going to do guys is bring in or import our stock images for this tutorial so right click on this you're going to select import or go over to your file on your menu bar and select import so once you do that a box is going to come up and all you need to do is locate where your file are saved is either on the desktop or anywhere it's saved download anywhere you save it so locate and select all ctrl a on your keyboard now select import and once you do that it will show you this all you need to do is just drag this way and all your stock images are imported so what you're going to do guys is just leave this to this so next thing I'm going to do guys is bring in my Rex Angle 2 again and draw a box over here. Alright, draw a box and make sure it's aligned to the frame. Next thing we're going to do is bring in our ellipse tool. The shortcut is F7 on your keyboard and draw. If you want to draw a perfect cycle, hold your control on your keyboard. So once you do that, hold it and drag this way. 
now you have a perfect cycle so what you're going to do is just scale this up a bit once you're done scaling it up this way and what you're going to do is just bring it up a little bit this way so you can see the shape we have so what i want to do is just cut out this part and just watch and see so what you're going to do is select the cycle and hold shift on your keyboard once you do that select the rectangle we've created before and go to your property bar and select trim and so once you do that as you can see we have this shape so the next thing we're going to do guys is reduce this box this way all right so once you do that just reduce it and bring it to this point and this is what you are going to have now select this um the cycle and select your rectangle right click on it and select power clip now place it inside the frame we have so this is what you're going to have so what we're going to do now is right click on it and select edit power clip and you can just scale this up a bit this way and you can leave that to that All right, guys so this is what you're going to have the next thing we're going to do guys is bring in our ellipse tool again and draw a cycle a perfect cycle don't forget if you want to draw a perfect cycle hold your your control before drawing it so this is what you're going to have draw a perfect cycle this way and right click on it select power clip and place it inside the frame all right click on it and select edit power clip and what you're going to do is duplicate this um ellipse tool again and draw it this way as you can see draw it this way and bring that to that this just bring it over here and this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do guys is apply some colors to this um shapes we have here to give us a good effect so now what you're going to do is right click on it and select edit power clip now give this one a white color remove the outline and select your shadow tool and draw this way just to apply some shadow to it all right so this is what you're going to have reduce the shadow feather to something like 10 so let's give this a white color remove the outline and apply a shadow effect to it all right let's apply this shadow reduce the feathering to 10 and boom this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is select this boat and click on trim on your property bar to trim it so once you trim it delete this one and um, as you can see you're left with this now give it a blue color remove the outline now what you're going to do guys is use the transparency tool on your tools bar and give it a 70% transparency this way okay so this is what you're going to have now select use your um freehand tool on your tools bar and draw this way all right you can follow my example and draw this way all right draw this way so what you're going to do guys is use your shape to um, right click on this and select to curve now make sure it's fitted to this frame all right make sure it's fitted to this frame and also do the same to this right click on it and select to curve and bring this to this and also right click on it select to curve and bring this to this point do the same to this angle and bring it to this point okay this is what you're going to have guys if you don't understand guys just drop me a comment in the comment section below and ask any question you want to ask and i'm going to give you a feedback okay guys so this is what you're going to have the next thing we're going to do is select this image and copy it now go into the frame and paste it over here now select it and right click select power clip inside and place it inside this frame we've created and what you're going to do guys is right click on it as you can see it's not 
fitted to frame so what you're going to do is select and select edit power clip now scale it up to fit it to this frame and you can leave that to that this way so guys this is what you are going to have and you can click on finish and now remove the outline and this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is use my interactive fill color select and draw this way all right so once you do that now go to your property bar and select fountain elliptical fountain fill so this is what you're going to have and now you can adjust this this way to your taste now give it a blue color select this one and like the dark one and give it a blue color this way all right select a dark blue shade of color and once you're done select the white node and give it a light blue color all right this way so this is what you're going to have guys and the next thing we're going to do guys is right click on it and select edit power clip so now what you're going to do is select this shadow and break it apart so once you break it apart it's now like on its own so you can bring this down a bit just bring it down a bit and also right click on this um shadow and break it apart also bring it up a bit now what you're going to do is just adjust you can adjust it the way you want the way you want it to look like all right so just adjust it and bring this down to this point so this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is bring in this um logo and place it to this point all right and leave that that guys so this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is select this frame and flip it hold your control on your keyboard and point this anchor point here and just flip it this way and right click immediately now this is what you're going to have now use your mirror tool on your property bar we have the mirror vertical we'll have the mirror horizontal now flip this up and use this to flip this to the right and this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is cut this image here and right click over here select edit power clip just to replace this image all right that is here replace it with this one and just scale this up and make sure it's fitted to frame and you can leave this to this this way and once you're done with that just click on finish all right so you can leave that to that click on finish and you're done so guys this is what you're going to have now bring in this barcode and leave it over here all right so you can use your text tool now and just put a website here we're going to put a random website www.chevron.com so i'm going to leave that to that the font i'm going to be using for this is just a normal area and just place it to this point what you're going to do guys now is um bring in this logo and make it smaller and basically I want to put an address here address of the company now I have the address types already so I'm going to just place this over here all right so this is what you're going to have and boom so guys this is how I design this company profile in Corel Draw. so if you have no question guys don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section below and um, I'm gonna give you a feedback if you like this video give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe See you in my next video.